I've never read a book that looks like me. When you're Rwandan, quite simply, there's just not a whole lot of books written about your country that explains your place in the world, who you are as a people. For me personally, the first book that I ever read that felt like me was The Silver Sword by Ian Saray, about three children who leave their home in Poland, in Warsaw, after their parents are taken by the Nazi regime. And these three kids journey from Warsaw all the way to Switzerland, where their parents have told them that they'll be waiting for them. And it's, it's an amazing story about journey, and as in the sense of moving from one place to another, facing adverse hardships. And it's basically, it's migration, like at its core, leaving one place of trauma to another place of hope and all the things that happen to you along the way. I love this story because in some way it explained what we were going through as a family when we left Rwanda in 1994. Not all of it, obviously, but the major themes, like this is why you left home and this is why you came here, here being Namibia. There's like some parts of it that are funny. There are parts of it that are sad. And for them to go through that adversity with dignity, with grace, with love and companionship for each other, that stuff floored me as a kid. And I still, even when I still read these, to, to read this book to this day, I'm still, I'm still touched. And yeah, this is the same copy that I had in the sixth grade. And you can see <laughs> my name over there. It's been taped quite a bit um, to keep it from falling apart. Yeah, and so that's that's what I chose for books like us, The Silver Sword by Ian Sereni.